because gauge life Everybody, it's your man with the plan, Shane Man 20. Welcome back to the channel. Hopefully, you guys are having a fantastic day so far. So, in today's video, we are going to be reviewing my 2014 Silverado, but not just the truck. We're going to be reviewing the new Stainless Works long tube headers and off road Y pipe we just installed a couple weeks ago on this truck. Now, this review will entail city and highway driving as well as of course getting on it what's it sound like what's it like to to live with on a daily basis since most of you guys do know if you've never been to this channel before this is my daily driver i drive this every single day to work obviously and it gets me everywhere i need to so the question will be what's it like driving it on a daily basis well i will tell you guys all that further in detail in this video but since we're doing a full in-depth review of what it's like to live with the headers on a daily basis, why not give you guys some exhaust clips as well? Seems only fitting, right? So with that in mind, I will be giving you guys a cold start, a warm start, some revs, what it's like to drive in the city, what it's like to drive on the highway, and maybe we'll go to Mexico and do a pull or two. So this video is definitely going to be action-packed with a lot of stuff for you guys to take in. And hopefully this guys will help you decide whether or not you want to do some headers with an off-road ride pipe or if maybe what you got right now works for you. So with all that said guys, let's jump into the exhaust clips first and then we will review the exhaust with the new headers.
Well guys, hopefully you enjoyed those clips and the sights and sounds of what this truck now sounds like with stainless works, long tube headers, and off-road Y-pipe. Now to get into the review section of this video. So as you guys know, this is actually my daily driver if you guys are stopping into this channel for the first time. Uh, if you've been here before, you know this is the only vehicle I've got. This is my daily. This is what I drive to and from work to do errands, do whatever I've got to. This is it. This is all I've got. So with all that in mind, how good or bad is it to daily drive a pickup truck with long tube headers and an off-road Y-pipe? Keeping in mind that I also have a Corsa Sport catback exhaust, so keeping in mind there is an aftermarket exhaust in play here. Well, to tell you the truth, it's really not that bad. If you can keep in mind that city driving is going to be a little bit rough, for example, you're going to have a little bit of drone when you come off the line. So if you're pulling away from a stoplight or a stop sign or you're pulling away from your driveway, anything like that, you're always going to have a little bit of drone. But again, not necessarily too bad. And you're probably going to experience some new smells. So if you've never been around anything that's never had catalytic converters on it, maybe per se a race car or anything like that, these smells are going to be very new to you and it's either going to be a good experience or it's going to be a bad experience. And it could be a deal breaker for some people. So with that in mind, if you live in an urban area and you do a lot of city driving, you do very, very little highway driving, I'm going to tell you right now, probably driving this around, if you're not used to the smells, the sounds, it might be a little bit unbearable to begin with or it could be unbearable the entire time and you may not like it at all. But hold up a minute, if you live out in a rural environment and you have a lot of highway driving, very little city driving, it's actually not bad at all. With the aftermarket exhaust keyed into this factor, this header setup along with the off-road Y-pipe at 60 miles an hour doesn't really drone at all. It's actually really quite nice and you really don't have any of the smells coming in through the cabin at all. Everything is still going out towards the back and it's really nice to drive still. But keep in mind, if you have to pass anybody on the highway, trust me, they're gonna know you passed them. Now, if we talk about interstate driving on the other hand, here in Indiana, the speed limit on the interstate is 70 miles an hour. And look, I'm gonna be honest with you. At 70 miles an hour in this truck, in sixth gear at 1700 rpm it drones like mad but thankfully in my case i only have a one mile stint of interstate driving so it's not really going to kill me to do just that much but otherwise that is something that i do have to keep in mind if i really wanted to daily drive this for the rest of my life so if you are going to consider daily driving your pickup truck with long tube headers and a bunch of other mods, including a tune, which you really, really should get, I would recommend maybe looking into a resonator if you don't already have one. But if you're planning on keeping your factory catback exhaust system, then you should be all right. There are a few people out there running long tube headers with the factory catback exhaust system, and they seem to be getting pretty good results out of it. Pretty decent sound, nothing too droney, nothing too undisturbing you know so maybe that's something to consider going into as for me i absolutely love how this thing sounds and daily driving it isn't really too bad i can deal with the sounds i can deal with the smells it's really not that bad for me considering i do have a lot of highway driving very little city driving like i said only one mile of interstate driving it's really not too bad at all so the big question here is keeping all those factors in mind is this really something that you want to do but anyways, I gotta run to town real quick. I will take you guys along for the ride. So here we are, we're cruising right along. I'm going to town, getting gas. And as you guys can tell, there's no drone in here at all, or at least none that I can hear from my ears. So there's, it's really kind of a nice driving experience. If you wanna listen to music, again, no issues. At 60 miles an hour, you're cruising just fine. Air fuel ratio still looks pretty good. Everything looks pretty solid. So as far as cruising on the highway, it's really not that bad. But again, if you need to pass somebody, they're gonna know. So now that I'm in town, again, I don't hear any drone. I can hear a little bit of the exhaust, which is not too bad. And you know, just cruising around, doing whatever, you know, I'm kind of got on it a little bit there. I just kind of push it down and big toed it a little bit. But otherwise, it's not too bad. It's not drony. You don't really smell that fuely smell, like what it smells like after you've cut the cats off. That smell doesn't really come around until you stop. So generally cruising around at 20, 30, 40 miles an hour, 
not going to be too bad for you. It's, it's actually going to be a pleasant experience. The only time it's really going to be an issue is when you go to come off the line. You know, and it's that's about the only time it really ever gets droney. That's about the only time I ever really noticed that I have headers. Any other time when I was driving this truck, I didn't really notice too much with the aftermarket exhaust. It wasn't too droney. And with the headers, it's still not that unbearable. I will say that it can get annoying if you're driving a lot in town, but otherwise it's not too bad. But I will say if you have to stop for any length of time, it can be a bit problematic if you don't, if you're not used to the smells of exhaust. And now we're all fueled up for the week. 63 bucks, that ain't bad. So as it is getting a little bit dark, I just wanted to wrap up with you guys and saying is daily driving something with all these mods, the long tube headers, the off-road wide pipe, the aftermarket exhaust, all that good stuff, is it really that bad to drive? Is it really that good to drive? Well, I'll tell you what, it has its positives and negatives, and, and to be brutally honest with you, I absolutely love driving this truck the way it is. It's a lot of fun. I like the noises that it makes. It's kind of an awesome sensation, really. I, I don't, I never had a chance to really drive anything like this before. So to get my own experiences with something like this has been incredible. And I at least get to develop my own thoughts and feelings on it. And I broadcast it to you guys. And I think that's fair enough to say at least. So to put my answer pretty short and sweet, I love it. It's awesome. It's great to drive around. It makes a little bit of noise. The downside of it is, is I really can't, you know, like sneak out in the middle of the night. Not like I really do that anyways, but you know, you can't really be quiet anymore. You know, those days have long since disappeared. So it's not really like it bugs me, but I do have to think about when I go out now because I, you know, I don't, I try to be mindful of my neighbors and other people that do live around me or that where my truck is. I try to be mindful of people around me, which I know makes no sense considering Shane, you just put headers on your truck. You have an aftermarket exhaust. You're going to be loud. Well, still, you don't like to be too rude, but the point of the matter is, is that I try to be at least somewhat mindful of everybody around me. Thankfully, though, I do have neighbors that love how my truck sounds. They love the truck. They love the mods. They support the channel. They love the channel. And, you know, if it wasn't for that, I probably would have, you know, put a lot of this stuff off a long time ago. But thankfully, if it wasn't for their support and the support of my family and support of friends and, and everybody else, I probably would have never done it. And for you guys, if you guys hadn't supported this channel enough, I probably would have quit doing this a long time ago. But yeah, here I am. I'm still fighting. I'm still doing it. I'm not going to stop anytime soon. There's no stopping this channel. As long as we continue to grow and as long as mods continue to come in, we're still going to be doing some pretty awesome stuff with this truck. I have no plans of stopping anytime soon. And with all that in mind, guys, I know I've seen some comments here lately about you know, trying to broadcast to other like Facebook groups and other things like this. Well, if you guys don't already know, I do have an Instagram that I always post at the end of my videos. If you guys aren't following that, it's at Shane underscore man 20. I always post updates of when I'm going to post videos and a lot of other cool stuff. Trust me, you're going to want to follow me on Instagram. And if you guys don't have Instagram, well, guess what? I have a Facebook page dedicated to this channel. It is Shane man 20. So if you guys have Facebook and you want to follow me there, I always try try to do a better job of posting things there as well. It is a bit of a challenge between Instagram and Facebook because I'm pretty much doing everything off of my phone as far as broadcasting those things out to you guys. But there are a couple of avenues out there for you guys to check out and follow to make sure that you guys are always staying notified of when things are coming. But going back to the Facebook group comments, you know, I'd love to post things that are going on and that I do, but at the same time, it's you guys. You guys are the ones that have found out about this channel. You guys have probably been telling your friends about this channel. And if, if it's, you know, if really it's you guys that spread the word of this channel, if you guys don't spread the word, the channel can't grow. If the channel can't grow, well, it means things are going to take a lot longer or they may not happen at all. So, you know, I have a lot of things planned for this channel. I want to include a new car in this channel. If things do better on this channel, we might pick up a new truck. We might pick up an older truck. We might pick up a couple of trucks. You know, we might do a lot of things that are going to be a lot of fun with this channel. At the end of the day, it's you guys. You guys are the ones that support this channel and that help me continue to grow. I can only do so much. So with that in mind, 
I need you guys to spread the word. Spread the word about the Shane Man 20 YouTube channel. Spread the word about the Shane Man 20 Instagram page. Spread the word about the Shane Man 20 Facebook page. Everything you can possibly think of. Share videos. Share videos with your friends. Share videos of the Instagram, the Facebook, everything. Because if that doesn't happen and you guys don't subscribe and you guys don't get notified of stuff, it's kind of pointless. The biggest thing that I want to achieve with this channel is to hit a thousand subscribers. But if we don't hit a thousand subscribers, if we don't, you know, if, if we don't get the word out about this channel, then we've lost all hope and the Shane Man 20 YouTube channel dies. And I know you guys don't want to see that. And I, I've seen some of the support. I've seen some of the negativity too. And you know what? The negativity fuels me only very much more. It's, it's an awesome thing, man. Go on ahead. Say as much negative stuff as you want. It's not going to stop the Shane Man 20 YouTube channel because I'm going to keep on trucking whether you like it or not. But that's just it, guys. If we can hit a thousand subscribers and I can get back into the monetization program, then things can really start to happen with this channel. You know, there's only so much I can do from what I do at work and what I do here. You know, as you guys know, I no longer make money off these videos anymore. So things don't grow as fast as they used to. But keeping that in mind, things can happen. If you guys really do try to spread the word about Shane Man 20 YouTube channel, this channel can you know really explode i want it to explode but anyways guys with all that said hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to give it a big thumbs up because i really do appreciate it i honestly do also if you're stopping into this channel for the first time make sure to hit that subscribe button because i also do really appreciate it and if you're going to hit the subscribe button, make sure you hit that notification bell next to the subscribe button. Make sure to hit that so you are always notified of when I post new videos because you guys don't want to be left out in the dark. I promise you, you don't want to be left out in the dark. I'm getting ready to do a whole bunch of crazy ass stuff with this truck and you don't want to miss that. I promise you, you don't want to miss that. Hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and share this channel. Make sure everybody knows about the Shane Man 20 YouTube channel. Spread the word. With all that said, guys, hopefully you have a fantastic day and take it easy.